Tempo. Hello, my Sagittarian friends. It's Guiding Halo, and this is going to be a short love reading for you since no one seemed to really like the last one, so I thought I'd try again and see what happens for y'all. So first we have be in the present and dream of the future. When you dream, everything is possible. So this is the general energy the divine would like you to take on. So remember your dreams, and I see that you're all up in your head. It's very possible you've had some challenging information come at you very quickly, and I think you're uh, hoping for an apology or perhaps it's a new love in the form of Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But someone here is dealing with healing and someone coming in fast or perhaps you want to come in fast to an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini and you're feeling very guarded, very protective of your heart, very protective of your emotions, very protective of your life in general. In fact, someone I would say here has been through a very rough time. Very rough time. You've put your passions out there. You've put your heart out there. You've put your mind out there. You've even put your soul out there in effort of your dreams after trying... <laughs> Because what you're after is this, the Ten of Summer, an emotional fulfilling life and family and friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust. I wonder if you feel like that's ever going to happen for you. Someone here is definitely questioning that. That is for sure. Yes, and the Divine says it can happen for you. Absolutely. The Ten of Cups is that happy family, happy life, happy times, ease. Uh, gentleness, kindness, and if you're in Four of Swords energy, you've definitely coming out of a rough time where there's been heartbreak, and this is what you want, and the Divine saying, please, please don't give up, please don't give up, what we need you to do here is ground yourself. Nature, sometimes all you need is to go outside, breathe the fresh air, to remember who you are and where you want to be. So when you're all up in your head and you have worries and you have frustrations, go outside. The more that you go outside and take a walk or go for a stroll, or if you can't even walk and you can make it to a window, stick your head outside and take 10 deep breaths. Take 10 deep breaths inward and let the cold air fill your lungs, the cool air, the warm air, whatever it is. Let it fill your lungs and let it renew you straight all the way down from the bottom of your lungs straight through your sinuses. It'll, it'll increase your, your, the energy that's in your body will start to loosen and you will start to feel it, feel the tensions ease. Now, Someone could be dealing with all of this in the midst of having a happy life, a happy emotions, a happy this, a happy that. And perhaps someone new comes in and it has been happy, but the challenging information coming your way could be from your own psyche and things that have happened in the past that are really stopping you up from moving forward in a beautiful way. The problem here I see is that it's a matter of growth, a matter of seizing opportunity. However, that being said, you have learnt the lessons you have learnt for a reason. I'm not telling you to throw all of those lessons out. I'm not telling you any of that. I'm telling you strictly to understand, to remember where you have been and where you want to go. Okay? We're at the Nine of Wands here with this card. The Nine of Wands is very much feeling guarded, apprehensive. Um, I would even say, I wouldn't even, well, actually I was going to say to some extent lack of trust, but I can't even say it's lack of trust. This person is battle-worn and you're not sure exactly the what it's going to take to have someone in your life that you can trust is there anyone in my life that i can trust and put faith and hope in other than myself is there anyone i can trust other than myself really because i've put it on the line 
I've sent the communication. I've tried to be everything I can be, and look what's come at me. I'm standing here in battle-worn energy. I just need a break. Can someone just give me a break? I'm getting this so much. The divine would really like you to know that while you're feeling this way, they get it and they understand. And the reason they want you to go into nature is because when you get there, the divine is going to come in. Your mind will ease some. You will have something different to look at. And the divine is going to come in. Your ascended masters are going to come in and bring you some sort of energy or some sort of information that brings complete complete uh, knowing and understanding and wisdom so that when someone does bring heavy energy or fast energy or challenging energy at you, you can sit there and go, it's all good. It's all good. It doesn't matter to me what you're saying. You'll be able to understand that what they're saying is more about them instead of somebody else. Now, Instead of you, I'm saying. Now, if this is you going at somebody else like this, perhaps you're doing this because you want to bring healing to the situation. And it's of the utmost time. Uh, it's very time sensitive. It's very time sensitive. You feel, but you're guarded. You're guarded about doing that and heading that direction. Because you know in some way, shape, or form that there's going to be backlash. You know that in some way, shape, or form... It's going to, seeing how you feel coming at somebody, you know it's going to cause a rift in a paradigm in some way that you've built for yourself. Now, while it might be fair and just for that to happen, hands down, it might be, absolutely, you still are in healing mode in some way, shape, or form, and you really want to be able to... <sighs> bring about balance to a situation even though you're healing and there are things you're angry about and you're trying to heal from them and you're spending a lot of time here up in your head absolutely the divine says that if you want this ten of summer or perhaps you felt you had this but something has happened where a lack of trust has come into play here in some way shape or form we have people you can trust be in the present and dream of the future so dream of this understand that you're in the present where you're at to learn whatever it is the divine has you to learn and they are going to communicate something for you so best advice from this reading is to go into nature get grounded they are going to communicate in some way shape or form that is going to bring some sort of happy outcome for you in fact this information coming in quickly that could challenge you in order in some way to keep the balance in your life is going to bring healing to you, but you feel very guarded. You feel very guarded about, about I, I think whoever this reading is for, you actually feel guarded even, even from the divine. Someone new may be coming into your life and you have dreams for the future. But because you're still healing in your mind and your knowledge on that level, you're healing from something of the past that you've been through. This person coming into you could be very much like you're very standoffish because it's like, I don't, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to be this right now because like I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to heal and I don't know how to how to do this e even if someone comes and offers you an apology it's very possible that you may be standoffish it's very possible so hopping into nature getting in touch with animals you don't even have to necessarily go outside if you have a dog or a pet please just hold them love them go lay beside them if they're too big to hold or love on like that or whichever and let their energy let their energy rebalance your chakras they're like a natural filter for our stuck energy that's why that's why we need to go into nature anyways in the first place the divine doesn't want you to get in a place where you stop dreaming where you stop trusting them to come and fill in in the holes in the existence you live they don't want you to get to that place they want you to understand that everything even this ten of cups is 100% possible absolutely and just because you've been on the receiving end of I gotta say whoever this is for a real shitty situation so far it's been really shitty <sighs> 
you can have this. You absolutely can have this. And when you're healing, balance and justice will come. And you now know how to cut out the BS. And you will be guarded absolutely in order pr to protect your emotions. And if someone comes at you with energy like this, now that you have been through a scenario, you will know how to bring this about. And it's all in divine timing of what the divine would like you to learn, what the divine would like you to know. Let's find more information out, please, about this King of Swords. More information for my Sagittarius. Yeah, all up in your head about this King of Swords or this King of Swords is all up in their head about you. Very much because, you know, they're a soulmate or perhaps you even have children with this person. Perhaps someone is pregnant and this Aquarius Libra Gemini person is perhaps you're concerned about bringing this news to somebody. You want this, but you're very guarded because perhaps they've told you that they don't necessarily want children. The divine is working on this situation. This is Gemini energy. So it's about the duality of someone wanting something and someone not wanting something. Someone being some way, some way situation or not being. Or perhaps you're dealing with two very different energies and it's really hard to find the balance. But the divine is coming in to bring two people together, to bring those two parts of you. I got the Empress again, so I may pull, I must, oh, I got the Magician first. A new line of trajectory for you guys, my Sagittarian friends. You have everything in your arsenal to create this, but you're in so much swords energy right now. There will be a happy outcome. Look at that. Someone very well may end up in starting this new trajectory of manifestation and abundance for your life. Someone very well may find out that they are two months pregnant. The reason I say two is because this is the Empress is always about giving birth to new ideas and manifesting abundance. And then we have here the Seven of Pentacles. So out of nine months, there's... There's two missing here, so be a brief wait of seven months before you bring forth this new family abundance. And I got the children card here. So perhaps you're very afraid of how someone is going to respond. It could be a child that you're going to have. It could be that you want to quit a job scenario and you're all up in your head about how it's going to affect your family, how it's going to bring balance to the situation. Very guarded even about talking to anybody about it because anyone's opinions, they hurt. They hurt and it's the, a need for healing. And perhaps it's somebody who's been in and out of your life, but there is going to be communication coming in very quickly to you guys in some way, shape, or form, or you're going to be giving that communication. Look at that. It's all about divine timing, I said, remember? So the divine, the wheel of fortune spins. So whoever's in fear over a response to something being said, divine timing is at play here. And look at that. My friends, I can't make this up. This is beautiful. So the wheel of fortune spins. Be that passionate person that you are. Go ahead and speak your mind and your heart and your truth from a place that is absolutely love. You can have that beautiful future. If this is not with someone you're with now, it should be someone. It should be. So if you want it in your life, go ahead and create it. It is with somebody. We've got the emperor coming out now. Absolutely, this is with somebody. And it's a very, very good vibrational match for you as well. And we get the two of cups. New love. So this man, like, look at the beautiful new love there. But there's healing happening. Perhaps this was a new love. Nope, this is not a was. This is a gonna be. A new love or has been in the last three months a new love for somebody that's come in. Yeah, there's healing happening after a rift that's gone on or something that broke your heart and you're holding on tight. See, we got fours here. We got a four here. So it's about your hearing from the divine, which is why you need to go into nature so that there's, a, there's an end of a cycle and start of a new one. This is about joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path towards enlightenment is about stepping through a portal the divine is taking you through. The question is, are you actually going to step through it? Are you going to step through it? I think you've been dreaming about it, dreaming about this happening, 
fantasizing about it, sitting there thinking it'll never happen for me. And meanwhile, what's going to come your way? What the divine's been working on and it's going to help you put the burdens down. Absolutely. What a beautiful reading. Could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, my friends. Gemini. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, such as yourself or even Scorpio. I hope this reading resonates for someone. Blessings to you and I'll talk to you again soon.